Hi, can I say hi to my friends? Can you give me two seconds? Good boy. Let's say hi to our friends and then we'll go for a walk, okay? Okay. Love you, beastie. Hello, my friends. I've actually been back from London for a few days now, but I never had the chance to properly sit down and say hi to you and let you know why I went to London in the first place. I mean, it's not like there was a big master plan. The reason I went to London is because I had a couple of business meetings. I wanted to catch up with a couple of my friends and the highlight of my trip was going to see Sam Smith, of course, other than seeing my friends, which is probably not only the highlight of my trip, but one of the highlights of my life. They were so incredible live. If you get to go see them, I think they're going on tour at the beginning of next year. You have to. It's honestly was just the most incredible experience. And since I was already in London, I of course had to squeeze in a little bit of shopping and browsing. I'm saying browsing because there really wasn't that much in newness out there. Most boutiques and most brands, obviously there were some stores that were better than others, but most of them really didn't have anything new in stock. And even if they did, they either had the largest all or the smallest size available within the range. So most pieces that I found and liked, I either had shipped to my local boutique so I didn't have to carry them home because I only traveled with a carry-on or I just went online and bought them, but still it was good to try them on and see them for myself in person so I can get an idea for the sizing, for the fit, for the materials to see if it's really something that I should even consider. And I definitely found some hidden gems, which of course I'll show you guys in a bit. And then one question that I kept seeing over and over again when I posted that I was in London was about the VAT free shopping, which is something that is not currently being offered in the UK. So just keep that in mind. They're not going to refund you the VAT. Even though it's something that is being offered in Europe, it's not something that you can take advantage of in the UK. So just to keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's jump into part one of this vlog. And then part two is going to be coming your way on Tuesday. So if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do so because if you've been with me for a while you'll know that during the month of november and december i upload three times a week so you'll get a new video from me every tuesday thursday and sunday hopefully i'll try to stick to it but there's definitely a new vlog coming your way on tuesday so without further ado let's go back in time and see what we got up to in london I'm officially the worst vlogger because I did not have a chance to check in with you today. I got here, I want to say around 7, 8 a.m. and I had an early morning meeting and then I immediately afterwards met up with a friend and we just spent the entire day together. I'm waiting for my best friend to arrive from Scotland and while I'm waiting for her, I wanted to show you my outfit really quick, which is really simple. I think I'm going to do this exact same outfit for dinner because I'm exhausted. I slept for about two hours last night. So I think I'm just going to do this. It's really, really comfortable, but kind of put together. So I'm wearing my favorite product t-shirts, which I talked about recently. You have to buy these in a pack of three. So I'm wearing the black version. I have on a Prada nylon blazer, which I love traveling in because it makes you look quite put together. It's kind of warm, but you don't have to worry about creasing it. You're not going to spill anything on it because it's made of nylon. So it's really easy to wipe off. And then I'm wearing my Kelly belt, which annoyed me all day long because the fastening on this is so weak that it keeps stretching and I have to keep adjusting it. So while it's a beautiful accessory and a beautiful belt, unfortunately it doesn't do what a belt is supposed to, which is obviously to help you keep your pants on. And then as my pants, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them here. I'm wearing my favorite skinny jeans from Nudie Jeans, which I know it's unpopular to wear skinny jeans these days, but I still like the way they look. So. This was my outfit for today. This is what I'm going to do for dinner. And then all day I carried my her bag, which let me go and grab that really quick and show you. So just give me a second. I am not really sure if this is any better, but here you can see the pants, which as I said, my favorite nudie jeans. And then as the bag, I took my her bag today because 
It's been raining on and off all day, so I wanted to carry a bag that I don't have to worry about too much. So I brought my Herbeck 39, which actually goes perfectly with this outfit because I'm wearing a lot of palladium. So my jacket has a palladium finish. My belt is also palladium and then so is the bag. And let me show you what bracelets I'm wearing. So I did these two Be Happy bracelets stacked together, which obviously you have to buy separate. These are both in palladium finish. One of them is the brushed finish. And then the other one is in the high shine polished finish, which it really doesn't matter which one you buy because they will go more matte over time. But I did these two. I really haven't worn my Be Happy's in ages. I recently rediscovered them because these are something that I used to wear, I want to say on a daily basis. I don't think I ever really took these off, which you can definitely tell, but I pulled these out again. And this is what I did for today. Really casual, really simple, but I feel like it makes me look a little bit more together than how I personally feel. So tonight we're going to go out to Hyde for dinner, which is one of my most favorite restaurants, not only in London, but ever, which I actually learned about the restaurant from one of you guys, which is something that I'm so grateful for. So we're going to go to Hyde tonight and then I think we're going to have an early night because I am falling asleep standing here. So as always, I am living on the wild side. I know I've just said that I was waiting for my friend to arrive, but I thought since I was already here, I might as well stop by Harrods because we were staying so close. And there were two pieces that I had put on hold at Harrods, which I wanted to see. One of which was a piece from The Beer, which is a brand that I have never purchased anything from. They are one of the oldest diamond dealers and diamond jewelers. So I was intrigued to see this one piece from them, which was this incredible emerald cut diamond pendant which i love the look of but to be honest with you i think it was insanely overpriced for what it was it was a 0.7 carat little emerald cut diamond set in white gold but there was genuinely nothing special to the design the cut or even the way the stone was set and i feel like you could easily get something extremely similar for a fraction of the price from your local jeweler and then, because I love emerald cut diamonds so much, I was also shown this insane engagement ring, which if you're wondering about the price, it is six million pounds. My next up was Moina, which is a brand that I have been talking about quite a bit recently. So I thought this was my perfect chance to dip my toes into the world of Moina by picking up a piece of SLG. And I had actually been in touch with one of their lovely advisors at Harrods who had put a card holder on hold for me, which I liked, I didn't love. I just personally don't feel quite ready just yet to pick up a full-on bag from this brand. But anyway, let me show you the piece that uh, I had asked for, which was this really simple card holder made of croc. And I have to tell you, the price of this was incredibly good. If you love the look of exotic skins, but you don't feel comfortable spending, the kind of money that a brand like Hermes would charge, Moina is a great brand for you to turn to because this simple card holder, I believe was 920 pounds to be exact. It felt really nice. It wasn't quite as substantial as an Hermes piece of SLG would be, but it got really, really close. I didn't end up picking up this piece. You will see in an upcoming unboxing what I came home with. This I didn't purchase, however simply because of the color. I thought it was black when I went there based on the pictures that I had seen, but in person it looked quite green, which is just simply not my color. I feel like when it comes to a piece of SLG, I would either pick it up in black or in a pop of color. And this green for me was neither here nor there. And if you're wondering, hey G, did you end up getting the Himalaya version of this envelope card holder? I couldn't. I did ask. And it isn't because it's so exclusive that you cannot just walk in and buy it. It's simply because this card holder comes with one of the Himalaya bags, which I show you here. I think Moina's Himalaya, which I think they call their natural color, is nice. I personally don't know if I would ever spend exotic prices on a Moina bag because I don't think and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that their exotics feel as high quality as their Hermes is, but I feel like their regular skins come quite close. So if you've always wanted to add a Cali Pochette to your collection because you love the shape, but if you don't 
feel like that you would be able to take advantage of a bag that is exclusively handheld. Moina has an amazing clutch bag for you, which I believe is called the Gabria clutch bag. I'll make sure to put the price up on the screen. I think it was just over 3,000 pounds. It is a really similar shape and idea to the Kelly Pochette, but it is a little bit more spacious. It felt a little bit more spacious, although to be honest with you, looking at it now on the screen, it looks a little bit more elongated. So it's almost like something between the Kelly Pochette and the Kelly Pochette Long, which is no longer in production. But the biggest advantage, obviously, number one, is that you can walk into a boutique and buy it. It is about, I would say, half the price of the Kelly Pochette, and it does come with a removable shoulder strap. So if you love the idea of the Kelly Pochette, this is definitely something that I would recommend that you keep in mind. It's definitely the standout piece to me from the Moina lineup. And speaking of flagship pieces, here is their iconic Gabrielle bag, which I have compared to the Kelly bag before because there are quite a few similarities. Obviously, it is a classic timeless top handle bag, which I like the idea of this I'm looking at in obviously their natural colorway, or if you're more familiar with Hermes, this would be sort of Moina's response to Hermes's Himalaya colorway, which was nice. They actually had quite a few exotic pieces, which I was told is because they have just recently opened up this new boutique in Harrods. Previously, they were at Selfridges where they couldn't sell exotic skins, and that's the reason they had so many exotic pieces available. So if you love a white bag and an exotic bag, they have plenty for you available now. Again, the exotic skin, I wasn't that impressed by, I have to be honest. This particular bag I felt had a beautiful ombre effect to it, but I couldn't say the same thing about the rest of the pieces that I was shown, but it was pretty. And then here is another Moina classic in their new little mini baby version, which they had available not only in regular skins, but also in Black Lizard, which I thought was really adorable. You guys know that I have been going back to my larger bags, so it was definitely not something that I would even consider. But if you're a fan of mini bags, this, I have to admit, was really adorable. You know I can't walk past an Hermes without at least just stopping by for a browse. So that's exactly what I did here. Here is a little bit of a feast for your eyes of these incredible Hermes bags. If you'd like me to do a video breaking down all the Hermes bags that I saw on display while I was in London, let me know in the comment section or just give this video a thumbs up. It's definitely something that I could do for you guys. And then our next stop was the home section at Harrods. Well, I should say my next stop was the home section at Harrods, where I found a ton of incredible Fendi home pieces, which I can't believe that this was my first time ever having a proper look at Fendi's homeware, because I used to live next to a Fendi home showroom for years in New York and I never ever stopped by which was such a big mistake because they had some true hidden gems. My most favorite piece was that Buckley armchair in this incredible Bordeaux color which was actually on sale. I thought it was an incredibly good price for what it was. I think it was around 3,000 pounds which don't get me wrong I know it's ridiculously expensive but for designer furniture I thought it was a really fairly priced. I think if you are looking for some designer furniture, definitely look into Fendi because it's not nearly as loud as you think it would be. And before leaving Harrods, I of course had to check out their new Christmas section, their little Christmas wonderland, which honestly I was pretty disappointed by. I much preferred the Christmas section at Selfridges which my friend took me to a couple of days later which you'll probably see in part two of this vlog but I did have a look at Harrods. Obviously it's such an iconic place but I didn't end up buying anything which is kind of weird for me to say because I am probably one of the biggest fans of Christmas and while I was down there I also stopped by their pet section where I did end up buying a couple of things for my little baby pie. One of the things that stood out to me was this really cool 
little waist back holder, which I thought it was really adorable. And funny enough, they had all the other toys that I bought for him when we first got the baby. Most of his things are from this company called The Wild One, which I actually had to order from the States, and it cost me a fortune to pay for shipping and customs. But they had a ton of these toys available at Harrods, and this is a brand that I would highly recommend. The reason I ended up going with this brand over others is because they have a monochromatic palette. So you can choose one color and you can buy not only toys, but colors, leashes, even dog balls in that exact same color. So you're not going to have pink, yellow, blue, green, all these different colors of the rainbow toys all over your home. Instead, everything is going to be beautifully color coordinated. So it's a brand that I would highly recommend. I'll make sure to link them down below and the exact color that we ended up going for with Pi because it has been a winner and the quality is really outstanding. The following day we started at Soul Cycle, and even though it wasn't planned, we ended up going on a little beauty hunt and a little beauty shopping adventure in Covent Garden. We walked past the Closier London store, which always has a huge line in front of it, but this time there wasn't anyone. Well, I shouldn't say there wasn't anyone there, but there wasn't a line when we were there, so of course we had to check out what they had to offer. I mean, these stores are more about the experience than shopping but you know i had to pick up some of my favorite bombs from glossier because they did come out with a couple of new flavors and then i also bought one of my favorite moisturizers which is the after bomb it's something that i talked about i think it was my skincare video which if you haven't seen i'll make sure to link up in the corner and then i didn't actually buy any of these just because i didn't have that much room in my suitcase but i do love the glossy hand creams if you're looking for a really thoughtful little gift that is actually practical but won't break the bank these glossy hand creams you cannot go wrong with After a quick stroll through the park, we ended up getting afternoon tea at Sketch, which I had done before and would definitely not do again. I feel like the more you do it, the more underwhelming it gets. It's one of my least favorite afternoon teas that I have ever done. But the day ended on a high note when we went to see Sam Smith, who was just incredible. If you can see them, I think they're going on tour at the beginning of next year. You have to go check them out because they were even better live than they are on recording which i know is hard to believe and then we ended up grabbing steak which was just the perfect ending to a perfect day 